Welcome to the video, my name is Sho Nomoto and in this video, I'm going to share how you can visualize properly so that you can create your reality. This is exactly from imagination to your reality. When it comes to the visualization, you think that you're visualizing this like driving a car or like, you know, doing some money and I don't know, perhaps it's something that you want to achieve. Maybe you're going to Bali or you're going to Japan and experiencing this street in Japan and X, Y, Z. But somehow it's not working, right? You're watching this video, which means that somehow there's something is not working or something is blocking you from manifesting and creating those realities, even though you wanted to. Even though there's a vivid vision when you close your mind and like visualize, but somehow there is no alignment because a lot of people think that visualization is just, you know, visualizing whatever the, the dream destination and voila, somehow you create your reality. But that's not like that. You need to understand the psychology and you need to understand this human mind behind of this um, visualization technique. There is something called a mental rehearse and this is a phenomenal technique that you also need to practice, which is exactly the visualization. But you need to understand that there's a study shows that is mental rehearse, for example, piano or like uh, moving fingers. For these type of mental rehearse study, there will be three groups, which is the, the people who actually physically practice, like physically lift weight, or like do the arm curls, or like playing piano. And second group is people who doesn't practice at all, right? Don't do physical or mental, nothing. And then third group is people who only practice mentally. So visualizing, practicing piano or visualizing that they're doing arm calls and stuff like that. And then they're successfully, the third group who only practice mentally increased their muscle strength and then also they increased the ability to play piano by only practicing mentally. So from this study actually shows that it's such a power within our mind, within a visualization, right? Then how you're not working. So obviously this works and I've used so many visualization in my life as well. And then there was, there's a really, really important thing that you need to understand. Otherwise you cannot go beyond of this feeling stuck in visualization. The reason why mental rehearse works like a term, which is AKA visualization, is because our brain is not capable to understand what is the imagination, what is the actual reality, what is your dream. And we are constantly thinking 60,000 thoughts per day, and then when we are sleeping, we're dreaming, we're seeing things and all the time, right? So we are thinking nonstop, and we are visualizing nonstop because most of our thoughts are very story-like. So from that perspective, we have to understand utilizing the power of daydreaming and then also sit and visualize closing, closing your eyes and visualizing and also lucid dreams. But what they don't talk about, which is the most, most important thing. The most important thing is that who are you in that visualization? Who are you? If you are exactly the same person. If this person you're visualizing is exactly the same as you, who you are right now, then of course you're not gonna match it because you're, you're matching with your current reality, right? So you're matching with your current reality. That's who you are, that's where you are. And of course, if you wanna get there and if you want to have visualization into your reality, if you want to literally turn your imagination into your reality, then what you need is to understand who is this person? Who am I in this visualization? And if you understand this future version of yourself, then you pull that down into your physical body. And I know it sounds like wishy-washy, but that's the idea. I want to understand this idea of like how it works. You have to pull that down. And it almost like you put that spirit into you, right? So your current version in a physical sense doesn't have that feeling or energetic vibration. But once you understand who am I, like you should write that down, like you should write that down, this version of yourself, who am I? And then give, it, give yourself a detail. I'm doing this and I'm feeling this and I'm like, my life looks like this, my day looks like this. If you really, really understand who is this person, which is you, your future version of yourself, then you have a lot more clarity and an alignment when you visualize. So when you visualize that, driving a car, if you only have been driving like, you know, really, really old 
car, Toyota, and like absolutely dirt in and old. Then of course that version of yourself cannot be um, driving a Ferrari. So you need to understand who is this person, not the material of the visualization, but the person in it. And that's why most people just visualizing like, oh, I want that, I want that. But everyone does that, isn't it? But how come this, how come there is study, this mental rehearse and visualization is so fucking strong, but majority of 90% of people cannot manifest it, cannot turn their imagination into reality. Why do you think it's that? Because they don't understand this, who is this? So when you actually understand, when I understood, things start to change because I understood this is who I am right now, which is complete a match, complete alignment with my current reality or the past. But my future version of myself wasn't who I was. Like I am who I am right now, wasn't who I was. So that is why I understood, okay, this person in my visualization driving nice car mercedes or like whatever it is and you know like mm, money <laughs> whatever you want to visualize or like i just manifested the um going to a tedx speech and i wasn't i was i gave a speech on a tedx and it was uh, one of my biggest dreams as well and then i i did that and then i could see that myself being on a stage was exactly who i wanted to be like exactly the future version of yourself from five years ago. But five years ago, I was not that person. I couldn't feel the same way. I couldn't do the same thing. So capacity, capability, and energy, aura, everything was completely different. So the people who's trying to manifest or trying to create your own reality from this point where you have absolutely zero capacity, capability, or any, any alignment with the energetic level, of course, you cannot do anything about it. It's just because everybody else is daydreaming. Everybody else is like, oh, like, you know, money, girls, and uh, X, Y, Z, right? Like, everybody daydreaming. Of course, a lot of people are stressed, but also a lot of people are daydreaming and like, that would be cool. Because as I said, most of us, most of our thoughts are story-like. So we think about these, like, awesome scenario, right? Like, I guarantee as a man, and I don't know as a woman, but... As a man, I'm pretty sure a lot of boys like visualize those scenario that we fight like a hero. If you if you're a man and if you resonate with that, comment below because it's literally every man we are biologically designed that way. So which means woman has the same thing, but I'm I'm not a woman, so I can't you know resonate with that as a as a man. And I resonate a lot of things with men because. We are man, as a man, and we are biologically uh, the same, basically. And a woman has the same thing, right? So, like, we we have a different thing. But anyway, so which means that we visualize these things in daily basis, in daily basis, in every fucking second. But how come ninety percent of the people cannot turn their imagination into reality? It's because they don't understand is who is this person. They don't have any vision or understanding what it takes to be that person. So look at the world. The world is literally the evidence of what I'm saying. So for you, for, for those of you watching, the most important thing is understanding this person. So you, you want to write that down. Like, what kind of... Who is this? Like, this is you, right? Obviously. But it's going to be a completely different personality. You know, you have more capacity. You have more capability. You have more for, uh, forgiving mindset or you have more like space in you, your energy is expanded, your consciousness expanded, you're so aware, right? So those from your mindset to your physical energetic vibration frequency, or perhaps you look different. Maybe you have six pack, you know, maybe you look completely different. You wear different clothes. Maybe you have a different hairstyle, right? All these difference, all these changes, you want to vividly visualize that person and then once you are aligned with the person, you want to pull that into your physical body. So you feel like this current version of yourself is in alignment with your future self. And what happens is you vibrate the same way. You're tapping into the higher frequency because energy travels beyond time and space based on the quantum physics. So once you understand, your brain cannot tell the difference with imagination, reality, dream, right? So from this two aspects, very, very important aspects. When you understand 
clearly and then visualize be able to visualize who is this person which is your future version of yourself and then you feel that from your every cell of your body you pull that into your physical body you so you're becoming the person in this current reality and then your brain thinks this is the reality and that is the magic in the visualization so from today when you visualize fully focus on this person not the experience of course experience is also very very important because that's also your brain thinks it's a reality so what you want to focus is who is this person and then be that person when you're visualizing feel the complete alignment and then keep going and visualize the experience that you want to bring it into your reality we are basically the different pieces from the same pie right so we share the biological same uh, mechanism as a man you know with the man and a woman as a woman and as a human we share a lot of the same thing we share a lot of common thing that we go through so which means you have this exact same power to turn your imagination into reality which is superpower right we don't need to be a superman or wonder woman because we have the superpower to create our own reality and then if you're not utilizing the power you're wasting your time in life because you have the power right like you have to understand at first you have arms or you have eyes right it's the same thing you have that superpower but you're not utilizing it which means which means like i have my eyes but i i don't see it it's like i don't use my eyes to perceive these beautiful views right i don't use my arm i have my arms but i don't use my arms it doesn't make sense so if you really want to learn if you really want to take responsibility and create your own reality then i have a great news for you i still have a couple of open spot for my coaching and if you really really commit it and if you like i am done and i want to create my reality and i'm willing to take responsibility i'm like i'm ready apply uh, from the link description and a comment below and i'll see you tomorrow peace live your life like a movie